In this video, we're going to look at the trigon from Tyranids. Uh, first, we're going to walk through a bit of the assembly. Um, there's the main body gluing together parts of the carapace. As you can see, there's uh, some gaps there. A um, bit of the torso getting all the little bits together. Lots of great detail on the sprue here. Um, not going to go into much of that. Uh, these pieces here are in two pieces. And so there's a bit of a joint along there that you got to watch out for, as well as that joint there that I did not fill in. But I used a bit of elastics here to help keep everything stuck together. There's a bit of a joint there, but you won't really see that. And there's another one there. Could have taken a little bit more time to fill those in, but I didn't. Um, for the different options, one of the problems is that that piece there needs to be swapped out, as well as some of the bits on the head. Um, yeah, some of these pieces in here, you can't really magnetize the head, unfortunately. Um, just because there's some common parts across them. Come together nicely. There's a bit of a size comparison there compared to a Land Raider. And uh, all ready to go for painting. Okay, so started off with a coat of black spray paint. And then I started airbrushing uh, rebrush, uh, Reaper Palomino Gold. So just using that to go over the uh, higher areas, trying to focus it on uh, getting a bit of a texture. You can see there. Um, adding a bit of uh, golden yellow just to get the uh, bit of highlights on there. Not doing much fancy with the airbrush, more of a base coat that has a bit of variation in it. Uh, I'm going to use um, some washes to bring things out. This was just a quick way of laying down a base coat. Uh, now I'm using the GW Foundation Macarite Red for all the carapace. And a bit of blood red um, going along the edges there. So just brushing back against that. And that's going to be blended a little bit with some uh, ink, red ink wash. And uh, just because of the difference in the how flat the red blood red is compared to the mecha rate. That's why you can see that there. You can also see the bit, a little bit of a different tint, but we'll blend that later. I uh, used some Idean Dark Sun to uh, highlight. Actually, uh, didn't show there, but I used um, Devlin Mud as a wash, and uh, you can see there the the red is a bit dark or a bit uh, wet. That's a Bow Red Wash, GW. There we go, Devlin Mud. Um, in and around all that stuff, uh, watered down and then highlighted with ID and Dark Sun. And just trying to get a little bit of the edge highlights there with the ID. And here you can see the, the red wash. So I used, um, that's actually a Reaper dark red there, and that went in sort of the gaps there, and then the, the uh, bow red blended it all together. And that's uh, working my way through the carapace, those ones aren't done yet. And you can just sort of see that's left over from the airbrush. It's not what it's going to look like. Uh, okay, so base coat here with Calton Brown. Um, so all of the claws, you see that one there has it as well. Um, there's all of the claws with the Idean. Sorry, Calton Brown. Uh, I'm working on some of the carapace here. Oops, wrong way. Okay. And there you go. Teeth all had that same Calton Brown. And there you can see how I built up, how far I kind of built up that uh, ragged edge. And then uh, watered it down, sorry, washed it down with the bow red. Uh, this here is just an eyedropper that I've got some watered down GW Blood Red in that I use just for uh, layering. That's I find that handy. Okay, now here's all the colors I used to get these claws finished. So leather brown, got a layer sort of from there maybe. Amber gold at the end. Um, and then some uh, pure white around the edges, so just the edge highlight, and then Devlin mud to sort of blend it down, and then tanned leather to uh, blend it. This, these two here um, go with tanned leather. They're the same tint. The tanned leather is actually the middle tone between those two. And there are some of the claws and teeth you can see there, and more of the claws. So I'm just trying to layer them. So if this was the, the claw, um, got the base coat, and then I kind of do from there down on the next one, and then there, and then do the edges, wash it, and then kind of blend it. This middle tone kind of helps 
you just water it down and you blend it sort of together to give it like a little bit of a layer. Uh, what I did here is used a bit of white paint just to lay out where the sky was going to be covering up. Um, and here's a wine cork that I cut up just going to be using some rocks to get some nice natural texture there. And uh, a little bit hard to see in this one, but those are just the cork pieces. This is just some gravel stuff, and this is uh, acrylic medium with resin sand in it. It's basically a, well, there it is there. It's a textured uh, acrylic. There we go. Textured acrylic sort of stuff. Okay, we're basically done. Um, okay, so the tongue, it uh, it started out with a narlock green, and then scorpion green highlights and thraca green just to wash it and bring it down. So you can see you got all these pieces, his eyes. Um, there's some stuff down on his tail. Down here has that same green. That's about it. So really, it's just uh, four four basic colors on this thing. You got the carapace, you got the skin, you got the claws, and you got the green trans uh, sort of highlight uh, or um, what am I looking for? I don't know. Whatever word it is. Okay. So the reason that I had laid that out is so that this guy would fit on there. Uh, with the minimal amount of things interfering. And uh, there we go, painted up. So just using Reaper uh, grays, uh, stone grays, a little bit of static grass, a little bit of brown, and, uh, and then we're done. Okay, so let's just walk through it here uh, with a white background. So front on, see there's the devil in mud sort of in the deeper areas there. Um, Great, great model. Paints up pretty quick considering how big it is, just because it's pretty simple. Uh, not a lot of mold lines. You can see just, uh, you know, not perfect blending there, but uh, worked quite well for tabletop. There's the little bit of green bits there. You see some of the detail on the face. A bit closer to the claws there. Very menacing model, and uh, looks awesome on the tabletop. Oh, a little bit of green on the hands. Forgot about that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Checking out all the detail here. Uh, so I painted this guy up about a year ago, uh, right when this came out, and uh, Games Workshop had a bit of a contest. Um, called the Warpstone uh, Challenge, and so I entered this guy at the close, closest local games shop, and I actually ended up winning. Here's a, there you go, the Warpstone National Painting League. So there's my trophy with this guy. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, come back often for more.